TSA has one mandate, securing air travel. But screeners are looking for more than just weapons or explosives. They're also looking for money. TSA Rule 100.4 tells screeners to alert police when they spot large amounts of currency concealed within someone's bag, even though traveling with large amounts of currency is not illegal. That's not true when flying domestically. Yet drug agents in Charlotte offered this LA-bound passenger a deal. Sign a form abandoning his $100,000 or face a lengthy federal investigation. There's an option to avoid all that. Not to sell like a new car salesman, but I'm going to give you all your options. You can walk away from that money. I'm going to see the money, but if you want to walk away from a federal investigation that's linked to the money, then are your options. But you sign it, uh, nobody from the U.S. Attorney's Office will contact you. Three years later, he's still trying to get his money back from the federal government. Oh, man. Court records show Clayton County narcotics officers use similar disclaimer of ownership forms at Atlanta's airport. Clayton County officers found neither drugs nor money in 93% of these jet bridge searches, according to our review of more than a year of drug task force logs. But they were still able to seize more than a million dollars cash for reasons such as the money was concealed within clothing or it smelled like marijuana. Just flying to California can be suspicious. The passenger was flying from Atlanta, a known drug hub city, to San Francisco, a known drug source city. Civil forfeiture is actually easier than criminal forfeiture. Dan Albin and the Institute for Justice have successfully sued the DEA and other agencies to get passengers' money back. Perversely, it's actually easier to forfeit someone's property from an innocent person who is not charged or convicted of a crime than it is from a criminal defendant who actually is convicted of a crime. In nearly all airport cash seizures we've reviewed, no drugs were found and the passengers were not arrested or charged with a crime. In the vast majority of these cases, they just take the money. They don't take custody of the person. They, in effect, arrest the money instead of the person. That's absolutely right, especially in airport interdictions. It's almost always uh, someone's cash is seized, but they're allowed to continue traveling uh, to board their flight. On location during this interview or interrogation, you are effectively required to prove that your money isn't from drugs in order for them not to take it right there on the seat. The way that law enforcement conducts interdiction, the burden is on the person to prove that they're innocent and that their cash is not involved in any criminal activity. You're going to sign a consent form saying that you're allowing us to search them? Okay. Or I'm going to detain them, run my dog on it, and get a search Feel free to search the bag, sir. It's not a consensual interview in those circumstances. It's an ambush. Atlanta News First Investigates found plainclothes DEA task force officers picking out passengers and searching bags at Hartsfield Jackson Gates, including this canine handler from Brookhaven Police. How many innocent people do you have to search before you find what you're looking for? Sure, I've got nothing to say to you. So we went straight to the top. Drug Enforcement Administration headquarters here in Northern Virginia. We gave the agency days advance notice that we wanted to sit down for an interview. But after we arrived in the nation's capital, the DEA said it didn't have time to answer our questions about the airport searches. They don't want word about this getting out. They don't want the public to know about what they're doing. They want to be able to continue seizing money from innocent people that they never charge with a crime so that they can keep that money and put it back into their slush funds that they can then spend on any activities they want, including generating even more revenue for DOJ, DEA, and, and these other agencies. 